In this video, we're going to set up scheduled reports. The CMMS comes with a report scheduling feature, which lets you email reports automatically to designated users on a specific time frame. The easiest way to demonstrate the feature is with an example. Let's say at the end of every week, I want to see a list of work orders closed off by Bob, the technician. We'll use the closed work orders associated with the user report, which will give us the data we need. From here, click on the scheduling tab to create a new schedule that will run and send the reports automatically. The report scheduler is just like the scheduler used in the scheduled maintenance. In this example, I want to receive the reports in my inbox every Monday, just in time for the planning meeting. In the user tab, I can set which users or groups will receive the report via email. I'll choose myself from that list. Under the parameters tab, I have to set the inputs for the report. If you're not too sure what runtime parameters are, you'll see them when you run any regular report in the CMMS. When running this particular report normally, the user is prompted to choose three parameters before the report generates, the start date, end date, and user. So we need to configure these for the schedule. The CMMS automatically sets the beginning and end of the period to your current date. These need to be changed, otherwise you'll see the same data every week. Click and change to dynamic values, start of the previous week. By using dynamic values, the report will generate the latest data every week without having to change anything. And end of the previous week, and select OK. We'll select Bob as the user we want to measure, and select OK. Final step is to set Enable. You can even run this report immediately to check your work. And that's it. You can add as many schedules to the report as you need to. Try it out for yourself.